Hello, I'm artist Simon Pope and this is the third in a series of video diaries that I'm making as part of my project Here's to Thee. This month I've been producing a poster that's just gone to print. It's a list of cider making terms in the Devonshire dialect. It's perhaps hard not to think of the words on this list as lost, associated with ways of living and of food ways that are long gone. Far from it though, and just because they're not in a current edition of a dictionary doesn't mean they're absent from people's everyday speech. Some of these words I picked up from the people involved in the project. Mock or muck, for example, which is the dry crushed apple that's left over after pressing. And poundhouse, which is the barn where crushing and pressing takes place. There's a keen interest in the history of local foodways. And Dr Paul Cleave, lecturer on the Food Studies Programme at the University of Exeter, also sent me examples from historical texts. Sarah Hewitt's The Peasant's Speech of Devon from 1892 has a section called Inelegant Expressions, from where I gleaned swill, which is to drink heavily, as in, he don't do naught but swill. I also found technical terms from a publication, authored by someone going by the name of Devonshire Man from 1867. Vad is the beam of a cider press, and crumpling, a little knotty or wrinkled apple prematurely ripe. These words come from a living cider-making culture in Devon, and far from being extinct, they express local dispositions to cider making and are readily available to inform the science and art of new cider makers in the vicinity. At first, this poster is being sent to participants in the project, but will then be available through the museum shop at Ram in Exeter.